So hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll discuss the autoregressive model or more typically known as AR. And it's the second fundamental model that we'll be discussing. So the first model we discussed in the last videos uh, concerned the moving average model. And in hindsight, you'll you see that this autoregressive model seems like the most intuitive of the forecasting models. Uh, if you think about it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this model okay, uses okay, past values okay, past values of y t to determine okay, to determine current or future values. So we're gonna use okay, the past values we have in the series to be able to forecast um, the future values of that series. Okay. And mathematically, we denote a moving average model as, so we have our forecast variable, our time series variable, yt. Okay. And that's uh, some function equal to mu, our model intercept, plus um, say phi one, y t minus one, plus phi two y t minus two, plus phi 3 y t minus 3 plus dot 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 until phi p y t minus p plus u t. In most cases, uh, we'll assume that u t follows a typical white noise process. Okay. Again, uh, like the moving average model, we can write this uh, form number one in sigma notation uh, as in form number two here as y t equal to mu plus sum i equal to 1 until p. So note in the moving average uh, process, we used q lags. When it comes to the autoregressive process, we will now use p lags. So p is the number of times in total uh, will lag the, uh, the series uh, to be included in the model. So in this case, uh, that's phi i y t minus i plus u t. And like, again, the moving average model, we can express this in lag operator notation. So that's y t equal to mu plus sum i equal to 1 until p phi i okay, l i y t plus u t. So uh, very simple for now, uh, but I just want you to know, um, uh, just to get what the gist of the model is, essentially, say we want to forecast future values of GDP, say that's our YT. Well, the main things that we can use to forecast GDP tomorrow would be GDP's value today. And maybe in the past period or in uh, two quarters ago, three quarters ago, and so on. It's just a matter of determining how many of those past values we'll use. And essentially, that is the autoregressive model. 